We each have an identity, which is our personal life and the life which we share with others, our nation, our world. Come and join me in this learning and meditation, which is going to teach us how to intertwine those both. Now that we've explored the nature of our personal life, which is given to us through all of the Birkot HaShachar, which have led up to a climax of Shasali Kol Tzorki, you, Hashem, have provided me with everything I personally need. It's time for us to broaden our sense of our selfhood, to see it in the context of something larger, to get the kind of meaning which only comes by us knowing that we're part of an eternal process and saga. For us as Jews, this is something which is so available. For Hashem has provided us as a people the specific destiny, which is really the one which is meant to redeem our world and all people's worlds. And we do this with two blessings. It's quite powerful. Two blessings which in a sense relate to two different aspects of who we are as the people of Israel. One is Ozer Yisrael Bigvura, who bonds together his people with power. And the other is Oter Yisrael Betif Ara. He crowns us, really he surrounds us with a beauty of technicolored magnificence. Okay, these are two such different directions. One is really closing in. In fact, the word Ozer Yisrael Bigvura, Ozer Yisrael, is referring specifically on the body to the belt and to our ability to gird our loins, as it's usually translated in the Bible. That has another meaning also, which is Azor, which means an area. We're really talking about our ability to guard our boundaries, our specificity as a people, Because for us to know our national identity is really to know our destiny. For us to protect it from becoming assimilated and diffused by us betraying ourselves or by absorbing too much in a way in which we lose the essence of our purpose is absolutely essential for us to fulfill our mission here in this world. And on the other end of the spectrum, Oter Yisrael Betifara. That mission, that destiny is not about us. That mission and destiny is not about our particular area and region. That mission and destiny is one which is meant to fill the world with light, to fill the world in its technicolored magnificence with the different kinds of shades of light and colors and hues, which when the white light shines and then is divided up into its different ways of manifesting, it becomes so many different colors. That's the tif eret sense of a beauty, which is a beauty which mixes together many different reaches. The word pe'erot actually means the branchings of the tree. So we're actually connecting ourselves to these two aspects of being a Yisrael. One is the aspect of the Yisrael. We have a very particular mission. We need to protect ourselves and make sure we have clear who it is we are. And the other aspect of our mission as Yisrael, that we are here to spread the light, to let it become different hues and colors in all of the 70 different nations, and for us to be constantly shining it in a way which is going to inspire and bring the divine into all people's lives. And now, join me for the meditation of really bringing the words which we've just spoken into our hearts. Welcome to a meditation which is going to take us through two blessings that celebrate the identity that we have as it is embedded in the larger reality of our being part of Yisrael. Relax. Take these moments that are so precious. Moments given to you of life to align with the higher powers of our universe moments that are openings for Hashem's great blessing to you, given now, 
waiting for you to receive them as you make the blessings which are your access to the great pool of Hashem's kindness. And so we're going to make a space within ourselves to come in contact with this beautiful flow of life that is specifically associated with each of us being a Yisrael. And even if you're not Jewish, being connected to Yisrael and celebrating her unique contribution to your life. So let's begin by relaxing in a gradual way. Take a deep breath through your nose. Let your stomach open up and view that as a kind of a symbol for your entire body opening up. Yeah, feel everything stretching out from the inside. And now release, releasing all tension and anything which blocks the beautiful flow of Hashem's blessing we're soon to receive. Take another deep breath in, let it pass through your heart, into your lungs, your abdomen expanding again, but now follow it down through your legs, all the way down to your feet. And release again this marvelous new calm that is now overtaking you and filling you is really here for you now. And this time when you breathe in, I want to invite you to imagine as if the air you're breathing in is like a sweet substance. As you breathe it in, it kind of tickles your brain, your throat, and your chest, all the way through your arms and hands. A kind of an enlivening force of pleasure and kindness. You're simply becoming aware of this gift flowing through you at every moment as it flows through you right now. And let the air, with all of its sweetness, now release, leaving behind an interior that has been brightened, sweetened, and now made available for the special blessings that Hashem is about to send you, the special powers with which He's going to empower you, as you will at the end recite, Baruch Atah Hashem, you are overflowing with an expansive gifting Elokeinu, you're also the great power which makes us powerful. As you are Melech HaOlam, the guide of our world. I want to invite you to note the simple contours of your body starting from the top of your head as a boundary that lies between you and that is which is beyond you. Following down a beautiful yet soft line that reflects 
the way in which you're contained as you outline your head, your throat, your shoulders and arms and hands, outlining your chest and your back, down to your waist, outlining your thighs, calves, down to your feet, an outline that itself has a beautiful, soft presence and glow to it, but yet can be permeable or not permeable depending upon the choice you make. And now I want to invite you again to sense how you're surrounded by light that's almost like an egg, a shell that is self white and translucent, illuminating with a beautiful white light that surrounds you, protecting you, enabling you to be nurtured within it as you grow. sense as if Hashem is sending from within you a very profound power to be on a mission of bringing light, love, compassion to this planet. You are now being anointed as a Yisrael. Your heart let it awaken with receiving this joyous presentation of you. Feel yourself being strengthened. Focus on the area of your waist and thighs as a center point for power and strength. Feel the energies that are present there. Feel as if there's a belt of light being girded to your loins. Know that you can stand with the clarity of your mission and identity as a Yisrael, empowered to battle any who Seek to deny you your true being. You are protected. You are supported. Shem's light is glowing within you, filling all of the boundaries which you have outlined. Those boundaries now containing within you the special light of wisdom of divine connection of love of justice of compassion of certainty of desire to connect and communicate all within you And you know, no matter who or what might seek to make those powers impure, they are ensconced within you, protected by the light which is your body and the enclosure around you. Intensify this feeling of security, of vitality. Of a joyous gavura. And 
And now let us begin to sense how there's a beautiful and marvelous light which is ready to spread from the area of our head, our mind. Uter Yisrael Batifara. Yisrael here, not as the one who struggles, but Yisrael here who is a sar, a leader and guide for all. Sense how Hashem's light is shining down upon your head right now, as if there's a light of empowerment to give and to spread that light from your forehead, from the area of your temples, your top of your skull, as if there's something beaming out here that's to be shared, all that's within you, being in, in place now to be shared with those beyond you. Feel as if it's spreading. Imagine someone or some place which is now receiving that light. Choose someone or some place that you know can receive it and appreciate your spreading love, your spreading compassion, your spreading righteousness and truth. You're spreading the security of Hashem's support and the ability to overcome. You're spreading a joyous gratitude. You're spreading the desire to connect. Spreading the light and wisdom of Hashem's shared being flowing through you, Yisrael. And just as you are intensely and intently contained within, you open an aperture outwards to give, to award, to share to send forth the blessings you've been given to all who are open to receive. Oter Yisrael Batifara, you say. Indeed, he is blessed with surrounding me, with crowning me with this great power to give to enlighten, to guide. May Hashem's blessing rest securely protected within us. May Hashem's blessing spread forth to those who need it beyond us. And let us know that this provision of powers is our great gift to his creation. Walk with this today.